So tonight, as hundreds of migrants continue to make their way through Mexico towards the U.S. border, growing questions about who's really driving this force through Mexico right now, and if the victims of this human tragedy are being used for political purposes by others. This is a huge question that everyone wants answered. Joining me now, Brian Dean Wright, a former CIA operations officer who has a lot of familiarity with this part of the world. Um, Brian, good to see you tonight. Pleasure. So you say that the organizers of this caravan have a very specific political goal that is aimed really at two people. That's correct. Who are they? President Trump and President Hernandez of Honduras. All right, so most of us look at this caravan and think to ourselves, uh, we, we feel horrible for these folks who are, are struggling. They're trying to find uh, economic prosperity, uh, escape violence. But the people who have organized this uh, are not really particularly interested in that. They're interested in embarrassing Trump because they saw what happened last spring when that, uh, that first wave came right. across the border, lots of chaos. They think that they can do it again. They can embarrass the president once more just before the midterm elections and punish him, electorally speaking, in front of the American people. That's the first piece. The second is President uh, Hernandez. So we have to understand that Honduras is a mess politically. Mm -hmm. And so there are a lot of fights happening between the right and the left down there, just uh, as, as here. And so this has been organized by his opponents, his leftist opponents, who belong to the previous Honduran president. And they are working them together. These immigration activists want to embarrass Trump and also uh, embarrass uh, the president of Honduras. So it shows the instability in Honduras. It helps elevate this opposition who, that's you know, living outside the bubble right now but would like very much to get back in power in Honduras. Exactly. Um, and it just shows the world, you know, this guy's running things, but he's doing a lousy job. Precisely. And you say that it won't stop, that this, this, they will keep coming and coming in these caravans. So the, the, the organization that's putting this together, the, the, the People Without Borders, their whole goal is to first create Mexico as not just a, a sanctuary city, but a sanctuary country. And then to move all the folks from Central America into uh, the United States for these economic opportunities. So this will not end with this caravan. We already know that there's another one forming. This will only continue in the weeks and the months to come, in fact, in the years to come, unless we send a very clear signal that the border is closed, not to people who follow the rules, but to those who break it. And so that's what we need to, to push uh, and, and insist as a country, that no one comes in uninvited and no one comes in unvetted. Well, let me ask you this, because, you know, we were on the border this week and, you know, some of the feedback was, you know, this isn't really a big deal. The numbers of people crossing the borders has stopped. I mean, not stopped, but it's declined. It's not rising. It's declining. And this is a relatively small group of people when you look at the numbers of illegal immigrants who are here. What would you say to that? I would say we have about 1,500 people coming across our border every day. Uh, that's not just a couple. That's not just a few hundred. You expand that across a year, that's a heck of a lot. Uh, more importantly, I think that if you demonstrate that the, the border uh, is to be taken advantage of, what's that number likely to do? Yeah. You, you are incentivizing people to take advantage of a broken system. So until our country, Republicans and Democrats alike, sit down and fix this problem, which, by the way, President Trump put forward, I think, a very fair proposal uh, last spring. Yeah. Unless we well, fix uh, 1. this. About 1.8 million DACA recipients to stay Absolutely. in the country in return for... Border security. And we Democrats didn't want the, yeah. them to, to, the Republicans or, or Trump, to have a political win. That's why we said no to that. Gotta go, Brian. Thank you very much. You bet. Really good stuff. Good to Pleasure. see you tonight.